Hello everyone! The craft that we bring you today is super simple and fun. It's also very useful to work on a lot of concepts with the kids. Or just to draw. Today we make a homemade board with Elgato Rainbow and Elgato Moon. We're just going to need a piece of cardboard, a nice piece of paper that you have, a piece of acetate or any smooth plastic, a ruler, scissors, thumb tacks, a hot glue gun, and dry erase markers. As you can see, I've cut out the pretty paper I was telling you about on the cardboard of the same size. This will depend on the size you want your board. Oh, and I forgot to say that we will also need a paper. This way we will have a white base for our board. And I'm going to cut out a rectangle a little smaller than the piece of paper and the cardboard that I had. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to keep watching videos like this one. And now I've cut out the piece of plastic or acetate the same size as the paper. And I'm rounding the corners to make it even prettier. And I'm going to do the same thing to the paper. This is totally optional, but it makes a better finish for a board. Perfect! Once we have it, we're going to glue the paper on top of the color paper. For that I'm going to use silicone, but just on the edge. Try not to put it in the middle so that it does not affect the drawings we're going to do later. When everything is well glued, we're going to glue this on top of the cardboard. As you can see, I'm reusing a box that came with a hair dryer. You know that for us it's very important to recycle. We put silicone all over the cardboard and glue it very well. And when we have that, it's time to put the acetate. For that I'm going to use some thumbtacks. We stick it well, but very carefully, to make sure that it goes through everything, the acetate, the paper, the other paper and the cardboard. So you can see I'm putting it in the four corners, so that it doesn't move at all, but we will still have a hole on the sides to put the templates. At the end, I'll show you how to use it. We turn the cardboard over and we put it really well against the table, so that the thumbtacks stick out as far as they can from behind. And now we're going to put a little ball of silicone, very carefully. Look, it has to look like this. When we have this, we're going to throw the pins forward, leaving the silicone touching the cardboard. And now yes, we're going to put more silicone, so that nothing moves. And when it's completely cold, you can turn it over. And it looks so cool! And you've seen that it didn't take us long at all. And now we have a homemade board on which we can write or draw whatever we want and erase it with our fingers or with some cotton. These type of boards are great to work with the kids depending on the point at which they are. You can start by tracing letters using a template that we put underneath the plastic. or you can dictate words for them to write by themselves. Then you can simply wipe it off with a cotton and some alcohol or just a dry cotton. And one of the things we like to use this kind of materials for is to start working on pre-writing skills. For that, as you can see, I've made a template with different lines and they just have to trace it on top of it. 
This way, children learn how to hold a pencil the right way and they work on their fine motor skills with their little hands. And if you want to take it up a notch, you can put any drawing underneath and ask the kids to draw it on top. The result is amazing, don't miss how this one ends up looking. And as you can see I had several color markers and that makes it even cooler. We wanted to draw Tiger Piña because you tell us a lot that you love her and the truth is that we love her too. We think she's super nice. You know that she is Katarina Mangatimun's cousin. If you haven't seen the series yet, you already know that we have a lot of educational episodes that you can watch. We'll leave them in the description of the video. And when we finish coloring it, look at it! It's amazing, isn't it? And when you want to draw something different, you just take a cotton, a little bit of alcohol, and erase it. Perfect! Look, it's as good as new! What did you think of today's activity? What would you use it for? If you're a teacher, it's great to prepare 5 or 6 of this and use them in small groups in class. Success guaranteed! Well, and as always, it's time for the round of greetings. This week, there are 4. Khadija, another one for Tylee, another greeting for Maya, another one for Ana Patricia, Another greeting for Christina. One more for Lautaro and her brother Ezequiel. And last but not least, a greeting for Angelica. Thank you all so much for commenting and for asking for a greeting. Remember that if you also want a greeting, you only have to tell us in the comments. Don't forget that this video is also available in Spanish in our channel. And next week, we will upload a new idea. See you soon!